couple weeks ago, I went to a local Burns Noble, uh, which I haven't uh, visited for a long, long time. And uh, I'm just worried that they kind of uh, still existing or not. But when I went there, uh, the, st uh, the, the hustling and bustling there, uh, because of the, uh, the bookstore itself looks look the same as uh, as of uh, oh, maybe 20 or 30 years ago uh, when I was just going to browse the books and stuff. But today I think uh, uh, because of the uh, Amazon, I think uh, it is kind of a difficult business. But this particular one is, uh, uh, well, uh, surviving. And, uh, so I was looking around and I found this calendar section. And uh, wow, yeah, that's a nice place to buy calendar because, uh, yeah, you want to see it uh, as, it, as a, you know, a real product uh, rather than online. You want to see it. And so then first thing that uh, uh, my uh, eyes went is this one. Kawase Hatsui's. That he is the uh, uh, Japanese Shinhanga, which is a new woodblock print. After Meiji era, uh, he, you know, the before Meiji era, the Edo period, there's a, like a three major artists of uh, Japanese woodprint: Hokusai, Hiroshige, and Utamaro. But they are all old style, very clear, precise. Um, print designs and uh, uh, technique, uh, crisps, lines, and so forth. Uh, but uh, this one is much, much later, after Meiji era, after Western uh, culture came to Japan. And I think many artists at the time uh, opened their eyes to see all the Western art. And so this guy. Kawase Hasui uh, <coughs> pretty much trying to do combine those Western technique to the traditional Japanese footprints. And uh, as you notice, uh, the line is not as uh, the old Hokusai or Yoshige's print. It's it's more like uh, very a shade, a different pattern of shade uh, was, uh, I think, uh, uh, made here, uh, which is like a shade a little bit darker in one place and the others. So what I noticed is like his design is very, very Western art. Uh, influence like a more three-dimensional and a more perspective well, is correct and uh, 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 use of the light and shadow uh, shades is I think uh, it's uh, tremendously depicted in, in his uh, prints and, uh, um, and also notice his uh, uh, print has a darker colors uh, especially, he is depicting the, uh, uh, the shades, uh, like here, it's inside the shades, uh, it is uh, still depicted uh, different uh, structures there. And uh, this is a night scene, and so forth. So, I love this calendar, and this is a 2003, uh, 2023 calendar by Torero Museum of Art, I think. Uh, this is from their collection uh, of the Kaose Hasui's uh, wood prints, wood block prints. So, of course, I bought this. This is a uh, vision of Japan, Kaose Hasui's masterpieces. So, this is like most popular Kaose Hasui's uh, um, print is uh, uh, 
uh, depicted here and, uh, and see the, the scenery uh, after Meiji, you know, when uh, he uh, lived, uh, Meiji uh, Taisho and Showa. Uh, he passed away, I think, 1957 or something like that. Um, uh, he lived a long, long time. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's dark, uh, dusk, or the evening, night, uh, scenery, and uh, snow depictions. And uh, one of the uh, interesting things is that uh, uh, Hayao Miyazaki, who is a stu studio Ghibli uh, anime filmmaker, right? Okay, so he was very influenced by Kawase's wood prints. And so as you notice, look at like this, it is uh, very, very uh, reminds me of uh, Totoro's uh, background uh, scenes there. And so I think it is interesting to see. But regardless, I think this particular uh, artist uh, uh, is like a, uh, at toward the end of to the end of his life, he was a national treasure and uh, um, he was highly regarded. But when I was in Japan as of 1976, I, I'm not sure I heard his name. Uh, it, it is not that popular, you know. But uh, I think that today, I think much, much more popular uh, uh, his uh, Shinhanga, I think. Uh, be sold uh, all over the world, I think, uh, with a premium price. So, as you see, I notice uh, lots and lots of stuff is very much like a, a light and shadow depiction. And the composition is very Western like. It's not like a, a hook size, a Japanese uh, design. Uh, Hokusai has uh, his own Japanese competition, um, very well balanced, but uh, still uh, there is not much uh, um, like a perspective uh, knowledge or competition knowledge at that time because there is no Western uh, culture came to Japan. So Japanese has its own those competitional uh, values, uh, all these things that uh, they have uh, established at that time. But here, definitely, it is influenced by uh, Western art, more uh, sophisticated uh, uh, design and competition. So, yeah, I just found this artist, and uh, I love that.